Bibles, amen. Real quick, turn me in your Bibles to 1 Corinthians, the second chapter. And uh, we touched on this last week, but I wanted to, to come back here and then from here, we'll move on. Amen? Amen. amen. Now, now, you know, while you're going there, 1 Corinthians, the second chapter, and uh, we'll go straight to verse 9. Amen? Now, but we do know that the, the Lord tells us and uh, through the uh, prophet Jeremiah that he's telling us that I know the thoughts and plans that I have for you, says the Lord. He said the thoughts of peace and not of evil. You know, he, he, he said there's a what an expected end. There, there's an expected outcome that he has for us. And it's not it's not an evil outcome. Uh, uh, it, it's not a bad one. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a place of peace. It's a place of power. It's a place of success. Amen. And so and so as he says this to us in Jeremiah, we come here now in first Corinthians, the second chapter, starting at verse nine. It says, but as it is written, I has not seen nor ear heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man, the things which God has prepared for them that love him. Now, again, so we got to get this down. We got to understand. Now, if God is telling us, telling us through the mouth of the prophet Jeremiah that I know my, the plans and thoughts and plans that I have for you. If, if he's saying, I know the thoughts and plans that I have for you. In other words, God already has something what? Prepared. Am I making sense? If he already has thoughts and he already has plans, that means he already has something what? Prepared. And so now here it is. We quote the scripture all the time. All the time uh, and God will cause all things to work together for our good according to what? His purpose. So he has, if, he, if it's according to his purpose, that means it's according to his plan. Yes. And if it's his plan, that means he has something what? Prepared. Yes. I mean, I, I just, I want you to see this. If it's according to his purpose, then if it's according to his purpose, that means it's according to what he has, what planned. And if he's planned something for you, that means he already has something, what prepared. If you walk out the plan, yes, Lord. if you walk out the plan according to his purpose, then you'll walk into a what a prepared place. Not a place that you prepared, but a place that God has prepared for you. Yes. Am I making sense to you? I, I just need us to see this. He says, now you got to get this now. You got to get this. He says, but your eyes haven't seen it. Nor your ear heard. Neither has it even entered into your heart. The things which God has what prepared for them that love him. For them that are the called according to his purpose. He, he says, look, your eyes haven't seen it. Your ears haven't heard it. It haven't even what? Entered into your heart. What God has for you is probably too hard for you to even conceive. You, you can't even picture in your natural mind what God really has planned. Weeping may endure for a night, uh, but joy comes in the morning. And, and what God has prepared for your morning is so great. It's, it's, it's exceeding and abundantly above you can, all you can ask or think, but it's according to the power that works within. Am, am I making, oh God help me. Are you getting what I'm saying? Because in other words, God has something for you uh, uh, prepared because he has plans. Following the lead and guiding of the Holy Spirit, amen. Then guess what? He's leading you into a place. God help me, Holy Ghost. How did I get here? <laughs> I was... I was following the Holy Ghost, <laughs> but I found myself in the wilderness. God help me. Uh, who am I talking to? Come on now. Here it is now. Jesus. Now we find this out in Matthew, the fourth chapter in Luke four. It, it, it says the spirit led Jesus into the wilderness. 
uh, to be what tempted of the devil. Now the spirit did not tempt Jesus, but the spirit led him to a place where he what could be tempted God, uh, uh, by, the, by the devil. God help me, Holy Ghost. And, and so the devil now, studying, knows that, okay, look, I need to let him get hungry a little bit. Now, that hunger uh, and, and, and that Jesus was dealing with was, was hunger for food. <laughs> but, but how many of you know our flesh can get hungry for stuff more than food? God, uh, can I be real with you now? That, that's why the Bible tells when a man and woman are married, it says, now look, withhold not yourself one from another except for a time of, of what? Of fasting. And then come back together what? Quickly. Uh, uh, unless the devil get an advantage. That's it. That's Why? Why? Because he knows if you go too long and get too hungry. God help me, Holy Ghost. If that flesh get hungry, if he ain't eating at home. Let me keep moving. So, so understanding this now. Second Corinthians, I mean, first Corinthians, the second chapter. Verse 9, he says, Now, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither had it entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. So that we don't went through this thing now, understanding that God has plans for you and God has something prepared for you, but he leads you into the place of testing. Are you with me? So we were talking about Jesus now. He was led into the wilderness by the Holy Spirit to be what? To be tempted of the devil. Now God, the Lord, he does not tempt us. Amen. He says this in the, in, in, in the, in the book of James. He says, uh, God, God does not tempt man, neither can God be tempted. But when a, when a man, when a person is, 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 is uh, abated and enticed, he's abated and enticed of his what? Of his own lust. It's, it's of your own desire. It's, it's what's on the inside of you. And, and the thing is this, no one can tempt you for something uh, uh, that you don't want. Nobody can't make you do it unless they put a gun to your head and you're scared to die. Just saying, because now fear, it, it ain't the gun. Fear will cause you to move. Fear will cause you to do things. Fear will cause you to respond. I was, uh, I, I don't know if I was talking to Michael or Marvin or, or Leslie, but I was talking to somebody. Anyway, I know I wasn't talking to myself. But anyway, I can remember when the boys were little, I mean little, like two, three years old, maybe, maybe a little younger than that. But they were able to walk around and do stuff, right? They were able to walk and they were tall for their age. And so I can remember, I went into the garage to get something, but I left the door open. Michael came to the door and pushed the door closed and locked it. <laughs> Click. And then I heard Marvin in there laughing. Because I'm trying to get in and Marvin laughing. Now again, they like two, three years old. But fear got me. Because I'm locked outside, they're in the house. If something happens, so fear grabs me. So I said in a very intense and angry voice, Marvin, if you don't open this door right now. And it broke him. He just started crying. He unlocked the door, but I knew I messed up. Am, am I making sense? I knew my words had crushed his bones. Oh my. Am, am I making sense to you? Oh God. God, I had to go, I had to repent, I had to pray, 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 because I, I felt condemned. But what it was, fear. Fear caused me to move. 
A lot of times uh, um, as parents, we allow fear or anger. Called, we're afraid that our child gonna make the same mistakes we made and so fear will cause us to lash out. Or when it comes to disciplining our children, a lot of times we don't discipline our children in a, in a calm and peaceful state. And we talked about this all the time. A lot of times we allow ourselves to get angry and now I'm gonna discipline you. <clears throat> Instead of saying, look, I told you, if you do this again, I'm going to tear that butt up. You did it again. I'm not mad with you, but I'm going to keep my word. No, no. Didn't I tell you? Okay, and now we got to get to that place. Anyway, that's a whole nother. Lord, help me, Holy Ghost. That's, that's a whole nother message for another day. Amen. So, 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 all I'm saying is this. Let me get back to this. So understanding then that in our flesh, God does not tempt us, but he allows us to be in places and situations sometimes where now we will be what? Tempted. God did not tempt Peter to deny Christ. Satan desired to test, to tempt, to tempt Peter. Satan desired to sift him as wheat and God allowed him to go to the place where he could be what? Be tested. Am I making sense to you? And so understanding now, we all have places in us that if we get there, it's going to what? Allow and open us up for what? For testing. Now, how do we overcome this testing? Now is by what? The power of the Holy Spirit, but also understanding the renewing of our mind. The renewing of our mind now is so important to us. And so one of the things that has to start with the renewing of your mind is being able to see what God has for you. Is being able to see that God has prepared something for us. He has thoughts for us. He has plans for us. And, and it, it's an expected outcome that he has for us. And I got to be able to begin to see it the way God sees it. Oftentimes we give up in the middle of the test, in the middle of the battle, because we don't see what God's plan is, because we don't understand what he has prepared for, because we can't see what's on the other side of through. Am I making sense to you? He says this. And so that's why now he says, verse 10 in 1 Corinthians, the second chapter, verse 10 says, but God has revealed them unto us by his spirit. For the spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. For what knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of God knoweth no man but what? The spirit of God. Here it is now. Here it is now. Verse 12. Now we have received not the spirit of, this, of, of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are what? Freely. You got to work for this. No, freely. You got to pay for it. No, freely. Freely given to us of God. <clears throat> Am I making sense to you? So you got to understand that there are certain things that God has prepared for you. And guess what? He wants to give them to you what? Freely. He wants to give them to you freely. So now how do we get there? We get there now, one, by now having relationship with the Holy Spirit. Because he's the only one that knows. He's the only one that can see. Our eyes haven't seen it. Our ears haven't heard it. It hasn't entered into our hearts. Not yet. Not by a natural man. But by the Spirit it enters into our heart. Uh oh, so now it's in my heart. But how can something be in my heart and I can't see it? How can something be in my heart and I can't even hear it? So, so now here it is. God begins to stir something up on my inner man, but there's something now that has to come alive. And that thing that has to come alive is called faith. By faith, I can see it. By faith, I can hear it. Yes. 
All right. And now this is the thing, because now faith now becomes rooted in my heart based on the word that I've heard. God help me, Holy Ghost. Now I really believe and now I can go after what God has for me. So when the natural, when man says it's impossible, you can say, well, what man thinks are impossible, but with God, all things are possible. I know what it looks like to you in the natural, but I know what I see in the spirit. Am I making sense to you? We got to get to a place now where we shift our thinking from in the natural to begin the thinking in the spirit. Are you with me? Now remember now, last week we were talking about this because he was saying in 1 Corinthians, the third chapter, he says, I could not talk to you as spiritual. I had to talk to you as, 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 as ba basically babes. And, he, and he's going on, he says, because all these, this, this jealousy and envy and strife among you, basically your mind, you got some thinking, uh, 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 stinking thinking. Uh, he's basically saying you're acting like mere unchanged men. You're acting unspiritual. And because you're acting unspiritual, I can't talk to you as spiritual. God help me. He, he says this in Romans 8. He says the carnal mind can't receive the things of God. Am I making sense to you? And so anytime you see a situation where there seems to be no hope, remember this, you are thinking carnally. Anytime you see a situation that you feel is impossible, remember this, you're thinking carnally. The three Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. King Nebuchadnezzar is getting ready to throw him into the fiery furnace. He says, I'm going to give you one more chance. I'll play this music, but if y'all bow, if y'all give in and, and, and bow and, and, and worship the image, then you'll be all right. They said, oh, King Nebuchadnezzar, live forever. He says, listen now, listen what they say. They say, in this situation, I know it seems hopeless. He says, but the God, they say, but the God we serve is able. Yeah. Come on. In other words, ain't nothing too hard for God. He's able yeah. to deliver us. Yeah. I still see hope. Yeah. I still see possibility. Yeah. I still see God can. Yeah. I know what it looks like. Yeah. I know what it feel like. Yeah. But I know with God, he, he can do what? Anything. Yeah. And then, so they said to him, I, I, listen, live forever, man. We good. Because I know even now God can deliver us from, uh, from your hands. But if he don't, so no right now what? We still ain't bound. Even, I know he can, but even if he don't, even though he can, yeah. know that yeah. I need you to understand, just because he seemed like he didn't do it, don't mean he what? Can't do it, because with God, all things are possible. And just because he hadn't done it what? Yet, don't mean it ain't on the way. Yeah. Glory. You just don't see it what? Yeah, come on now. Uh, I, I, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's still dark right now. Joy comes what? In the morning. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. You say, well, some people, they see in the morning right now. They see in daylight. But you know, there are some areas where, guess what? They don't see daylight like that. Come on now. Some places, they so far from the light. I help me, Holy Ghost. That, that they, only have, they only have short periods of daylight. <laughs> That's a whole nother story for another day. And so you've got to begin to understand this. So you got to begin to understand that, that, that we got to know and understand that with God, all things are possible. And because I just because I don't see it in the natural don't mean that it can't happen. And so I must now switch my thinking, switch my eyes from from looking at it from an earthly plane to looking at it from a what a spiritual and supernatural plane. Amen? Amen. Real quick, turn with me if you will in your Bibles to uh, uh, have mercy, Lord. Turn with me. Uh, but yeah, we'll just go there. How about that? Turn with me to uh, 2 Corinthians, 
the tenth chapter. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just go there. Second Corinthians, the tenth chapter, and let's go straight to verse uh, verse three. Have mercy on, have mercy on my soul, and we give you praise, Lord. Amen. Now, now this is the thing. Now it says now it says for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Now I need us to under, I need you to understand this. I need you to understand this. That 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 word now flesh there uh, 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 is not just talking about our physical form. All right. So though we walk in the flesh, we do not live after the flesh. Right now. So I need us to understand that this flesh that we're talking about, it's not just this, but it's dealing with human nature. It's dealing with human, human nature, human instinct, human and fleshly and carnal desires. It's, it's dealing. So although we walk in this human nature, although we walk in the natural, you know, it, 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 that's not that's not what we fight at. That's not what we fight with. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after it. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they're mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. So now, so we, 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 we got to get this. We got to get this. We got to get this. So I need you to understand, although we walk in the natural, although we walk in this human nature, I need you to understand that when it's time to do warfare, you can't war with this. I know sometimes you want to lay hands. And we're talking about in wrath now. We ain't talking about, <laughs> we're talking about, we said you want to lay hands, right? I, I, I know sometimes you want to speak some words and we ain't talking about holy words now. <laughs> uh -huh. I mean, I, I, I know sometimes people get you there uh -huh, and, and push you to a point where, okay. See, this is the thing, but you got to remember, they still can't make you. No, no one can't make you do what you don't want to do. What they can do is push the buttons that will trigger something in your mind that allow you now to go ahead and go there. Am I I'm making sense? And, and listen now, and listen, and that's why we talked about it before. That's where discipline comes in, because now yeah. discipline is a mind thing. Yeah. Discipline ain't a body thing. Discipline is a what? Is a mind thing. Yeah. I'm gonna say that one more time. Discipline ain't a body thing. Discipline is a mind thing. I need you to understand. In, in order now for you to walk away from certain things. Whether it's sexually, whether it's violence, whether it's curse, whatever, whatever it is, in order for you to walk away, you got to understand it's a mind thing. Now, yes, yes, yes. if I am going to be different, I must begin to what? Think differently. That's why he tells us in Romans 12, be not conformed to this world. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Don't copy the customs and behaviors of this world. But let God change you into another person by changing the way you think. <clears throat> think about this now. How many of you, have you ever gone around people that you used to do dirt with? You ever go around people you do dirt, used to do work, dirt with? They hear what you say, they hear you, but they looking at you. They are watching you to see if you're going to still do what you used to do. And they'll let you slide for a day or two. They'll let you slide for a week. And then they'll start bringing stuff in front of you. Come on, man, you know you used to drink. Come on now, you know you used to do this with me. 
Come on, you know we used to smoke together. I hear you saying it, but come on, man. Ain't nothing wrong with a little toke here and there. Come on. A am I making sense to you? And, and they're going to keep pushing you, and they're going to keep pushing you. They're going to have other people that come to you, and they're doing what? They're watching. Because they hear what you say, but what you say means nothing. It's what you, what you do. And then you come by months later, you know, and I'm talking about months later, sometimes even years later, because they still putting a test on just to see. And then uh, after a while, they'll come to you and say, man, you changed. I, I, I know when you first came home or did this or did that, I said, yeah, whatever. But I'll be honest with you, man. I looked at you and I, we, we tried you now. And, 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 and you, didn't, you didn't bend. You didn't break. Man, you really changed. You, you really different. <clears throat> am, I, am I making sense to you? But again, what made you not do it? It was a mind thing. The only reason you can't be on time is a mind thing. The only reason you can't be consistent is a mind thing. The only reason you can't be faithful is a mind thing. Come on, come on. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. It, it's, a, it's a what? It's a mind thing. It's not a. I'm not I'm, I'm making sense. It's nobody else. Mm -hmm. uh, come on. We make what? Choices. We do. We do. Come on. Some of these choices have become what? Subconscious. Oh, God, help me, Holy Ghost. Understand this now. Understand this now. Subconscious thought is the most deadly thing because it tells who you really are inside. See, I can lie to you. You say, Pastor, how you feeling? Man, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, glory. Uh, I, I, can, I can lie to you and tell you everything is wonderful. Everything is perfect. And all the while, the thing, okay. You're right. You own it. You own it. All the while. I, oh, oh, Lord. Oh, woe is me. It is, it is I, my Lord. Come on. It's me. It's me. It's me again. I called you early this morning. And I called you late last night. It's me. It's me. It's me again. Here it is, here it is. I'm gonna give it to you in the Bible. I'm gonna give it to you in the Bible. Here it is now, the Shunammite woman, her son is laying on the bed dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. She calls a servant and says, look, I need you to take me to the prophet, and I, don't really, I need you to ride hard, and don't stop unless I tell you. Here it is, she, she, the, prophet, the servant says everything, and she says, all is well. Come on. Come on. Uh, oh, listen, I, I, I know you seem a little distressed, but no, it's all good. Just do what I tell you to do. Uh, uh, she gets the husband, sees her, and, 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 and says, is everything okay? And she says, all will be well. All shall be well. Uh -huh. uh, I, I, I'm lying to you because right now, it, it don't look good in the natural. Yeah. It don't look good. Can I help me? Yeah. Can I be real with be you? Real. Uh, uh, sometimes in the natural, what I see begins to affect how I feel. Yeah. And just because you ask me how you, I haven't been able to tap into the spirit yet. Yeah. I, I, my faith, can I help me, Holy Ghost? My faith is shaking right now because yeah. I know in God all oh, things are possible yes. I know with God he can do anything yes. but sometimes if we be real we get like the leper that tells Jesus I know you can if you're willing am I the only one that been in a situation telling God Lord I know you can bring me out and I know you can bring me out right now